large than masses. This is a patient who had a myxoma, a very small myxoma. You can see that on 2D echocardiography very nicely. But the nice thing is that you can really see the shape of the tumor and how it is pedunculated with the help of 3D. We're using 3D not only in the heart, but also for the aorta. A patient who had massive atherosclerotic plaques, this is the aortic wall. And on one of these plaques, we have a highly mobile structure, probably a thrombus. A patient with a central line, a vegetation right here, again, seen in 3D. And finally, a patient who had a thrombus peeking out of the left atrial appendage, right towards the mitral valve. A huge thrombus, but what we are able to detect with 3D is that there's not only one thrombus, but actually several thrombi. There's another head here, and probably another one here at the back. Of course, when it comes to detecting thrombi, you do see them in 2D very nicely, as here, for example, in a trans thoracic echo. But it is always nice to display that in 3D and to communicate that also with maybe the referring doctors. Uh, it might not really have any you know, impact on the way we manage this patient, but I do believe that um, it's a very nice way of additionally displaying such a thrombus. Mm -hmm.